Can I thank you? So if we got to Parliament Square, he'd be near there. Can I thank you what? for not judging the current Mayor of London by the standards and actions of the last Mayor of London? <laughs> And can I just uh, say this, one of the reasons why London is the greatest city in the world is because of the contribution made by the more than one million Londoners and their Londoners by the way who are EU citizens. They are, they are our friends, they are members of our family. They are our neighbours, they are our colleagues, and over the last three years, they've been feeling anxious, scared, worried, and heartbroken. And my message, as their mayor, as your mayor, is very simple. You are welcome here! Yeah. <laughs> And I want you to look around. Look around. This is what democracy looks like. Have a look. Have a look at the Supreme Court of Justice, where fearless and independent judges sit. That's what democracy looks like. Look at our parliament. Look at our parliament, where we have brave members of parliament standing up to a mighty executive. That's what democracy looks like. And you know, you know, we are here to defend our democracy. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I tell you this, I tell you this. When I was growing up in the 1980s, I'm not sure if I'd have believed that I'd be sharing a platform with Michael Heseltine. Or that I'd be proud to share a platform with Michael Heseltine. Because you know what? This is a matter of national interest. We put aside personal interests and we put aside political interests. And you know what? I'm also proud to be sharing a platform with politicians from the Liberal Democrats. With politicians from the Green Party. From the Women's Equality Party. From the SNP. From Blind Cymru. From Independents. Because you know what? We put aside our party political differences. We put aside the diversity of our political views because we are united. We are united in believing every form of Brexit is worse than remaining in the EU. We're united in believing that we should trust the British public. And you know what? We're united in believing that this is much more than the divisions that there are between us because this is about future generations to come. But let's be honest, let's be honest, Brexit has been a complete and utter mess. Boris Johnson cannot be trusted. Boris Johnson is presenting us with two terrible options a catastrophic no-deal Brexit or a bad, bad deal. And let's be clear, Boris Johnson's deal, Boris Johnson's deal is even worse than Theresa May's deal. Less rights for workers, less protection for the environment and fewer safeguards for consumers. And there's there's a real possibility 
that we could leave the EU at the end of the transition period, at the end of next year, without any deal whatsoever, driven into the arms of Donald Trump. There's, there's a real possibility that this could lead to the breakup of the United Kingdom. And you know, our message, my message well, to yeah. Parliament now is clear. This is not a game. This goes beyond party politics. This is about defending our democracy. This is about future generations. This is about stopping the UK government committing the greatest acts of economic self-harm ever seen. So it's time. It's time. It's time to stop Brexit. It's time. It's time to give the British public a final say. And you know what else? It's time. It's time for us to be hopeful. It's time for us to be set on a path for a brighter future for the entire United Kingdom. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Sadiq Khan. Absolutely brilliant. Right, are you ready for your next speaker? Right, I am so delighted to be introducing this person. She is one of my absolute icons.